Welcome guys, I'm back with another video. So this is going to be a collective read. So whatever energy comes out, we'll talk about it. All right, so let's get into it. I'm using the Power of Love Oracle deck here. We're gonna start off with uh, this beautiful Oracle deck and then we'll jump into um, other messages from our other decks. Give me a message for the collector, please. We got cause and effect. Okay. Wow. Okay. So we got, you are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results cause and effect okay so at the bottom of the deck we got creativity it's in the reverse so someone isn't using their god-given gifts or talents or isn't being creative at this moment it's like you're not taking action okay um yeah i'm getting look at this vision okay so there's a bigger picture here. Vision is no matter what. You see the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. Okay, so it's a bigger picture here. Something um, that you're supposed to be doing. Something that you're supposed to be doing. Your purpose. Wow. And it's in reverse. Okay. upright you possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love it's in the reverse okay so definitely it's a ripple effect of something here that you're supposed to be doing but you aren't doing um maybe you don't have the drive to do it you're not determined and then creativity is back here again at the bottom we got tolerance you appreciate others' points of view because you sense the love in everyone. Listen, Spirit says you have the freedom. You are releasing the self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of, of openness. So are you restricting yourself? Is there something that is restricting you, holding you back from being creative, something holding you back from your purpose? Is This is significant. This is very significant. This is a big deal. This is a big deal. Look at this. Something that is going to bring you power, success, money, king of pentacles, and a six of wands. Okay. Yes, definitely. Living in your purpose. Okay. Wow. Wow. Give me a message here for the collective, please. Give me a message for the collective. Thank you. All right. So, two of wands, ten of swords here, and a two of pentacles. I feel like... The two of wands is definitely looking towards the future, planning out something, um, just kind of looking above, trying, not above, but looking at a distance, okay, thinking um, outside of the box, looking at every angle, okay, preparing yourself for something, plotting on something. Now, with the ten of swords here at the bottom of the deck, maybe something didn't, isn't going as planned. You may have uh, witnessed some delays. Y'all know we in the retrograde energy. Okay, I see you. Some of y'all feel a little overwhelmed. It could be in regards to finances with the five of pentacles and the queen of pentacles here. Okay. So there could be some financial strain here. 
I see being a you know overwhelmed. Have may have a little anxiety going on here. Some of y'all may have lost your confidence. Like it's kind of like you don't feel as confident, um, or you just don't feel as enthusiastic about um, taking this role because. For some reason. Oh, wow. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody that's slowing y'all down. We got the Knight of Pentacles. Now, this is the slowest moving energy in the deck, okay? Then we got that Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands. This is like sexual, sexual energy. Okay. Then we got the Three of Swords and the Devil and the Eight of Swords. Like, this is kind of giving me like, oh, like somebody is just taking somebody's energy. see you feeling burned it though you feel like it's, it's something's too much somebody's too emotional situation's too emotional could be dealing with the water sign pisces cancer scorpio yeah i see a slowdown you slow down your plans why You feel like you can go back to it. Okay. something out of the blue something here about a connection just feels off okay something feels off like it's just something here feels off somebody is too emotional um maybe you you feel like you need to take a break from a situation because maybe you're you're feeling like uh overwhelmed emotionally so you feel like you need to slow down until you get this figured out some of y'all feel like you're stuck now we got the devil and the empress what's going on some of y'all could be dealing with the capricorn but somebody is <laughs> Somebody could be wearing a mask. I see. Um, I see you going hard though. You coming? I feel like you you went through a period where you know you kind of maybe had to get your emotions in check. But it looks like I see you going hard, moving ahead in the future. You know it's gonna pay off. Um, so definitely. I see things picking back up. Look at this. The star and the eight of wands as the outcome. I see things picking back up and you having hope and faith in this situation again. But this is your purpose. You're born to be a star here. Okay. Don't let this. Don't, you know, things happen. Things slow down. Look at this. Three of pentacles. For sure. For sure. Okay. For some of you, this is something that you're building from the ground up. You can't let this dream go. Okay. This is an opportunity. With the ace of pentacles look at this ace of cups all right i feel like some of y'all gonna regret it if you actually don't continue to push press forward you don't have to rush is i feel like you're afraid that it's gonna be a risk um i feel like you some of y'all may want to make some changes 
Um, I feel like make those changes, okay? And I feel like a lot of y'all are trying to find some balance. I feel like there's maybe a balance with emotion, something feeling emotional at this time, overly emotional, maybe trying to get your emotions or whatever you have going on in check because whatever this is, you can't let that get in the way of your purpose. Right now, I feel like some of y'all are destined for greatness look at this six of wands and the king of pentacles y'all are destined for um a good life here um but you have to you have gosh i was you gotta stay focused it's okay to take a break take a break here and there but get back Focus. Tell me why it's purpose here in the reverse. There may be a connection. I feel like there may be some type of connection that could be holding you back. Now, look at this. You have so much potential, so much. I feel like with the Empress here, this is a lot of growth. This is a lot of expansion. The Empress is such a beautiful energy. I feel like some of y'all are attached. There is a, a devil energy here. You could be married to this person. We got the devil, justice, and the four of wands. Some of y'all could be live with this person, um, close to this person. Could be family. But I'm getting also a marriage. There's a decision that needs to be made as well um, on whether or not to end something. I feel like that could be holding you back from your passion. We got the world here. That chapter needs to be closed. It's time to close this chapter. Two of Wands and the world. It's time to close this chapter. Yeah, this it's time to close this chapter because this whatever this situation is, it's a it's a partnership, it's a connection, two of cups energy, it's a relationship. This is holding you back from your purpose. We got tolerance in the reverse, and then the nine of cups just flipped out on top of it. Like, yeah, see, let me tell you something. Ten of swords. Ten of Swords and the Nine of Cups. It's something about this connection that you don't need to tolerate, okay? It's something about this. It's like you don't have to tolerate this. So, oh, gosh. I feel like there is there is something that you don't have to tolerate. Spirit doesn't want you to tolerate it. It's actually standing in the way of your purpose. Why is cause and effect here? Didn't I tell y'all? This is what's causing you to be stuck. Eight of Swords. Okay, it's something about your past. Stuck in the past. Now, this situation needs to be let go of. It's standing in the way of your purpose. This is standing in the way of your purpose. This is keeping you stuck, stagnant.
Cut this person off. Queen of Swords, Seven of Cups. Cut this person off. Be the magician. Somebody made an offer. It looks like um, there's some type of offer that was made. It was a final offer, too. Um, I'm seeing, figuring out if you're going to say yes or no. Um, or maybe saying like you'll think about it. But you ended up regretting it. Oh, look at this. Six of Wands and a star. I can't make this up. Y'all are destined to be a star. Okay? This is celebrity status. Y'all destined to be that. But guess what? This situation is in the way. This person did something that's unforgivable. We got forgiveness in the reverse. Could be a cancer. King of Wands and the King of Swords. Woo. Knight of Swords. Gosh. And the Death Corps. Somebody thinks that they can come back and forth as they please. Okay. Somebody thinks that they can come back and forth, do what they want, move how they want. Um, don't have to show any type of anything. Look, that's, that's definitely not going to be it. This person is holding you back. Like, this person is keeping you stuck. It's keeping you not being able to focus on what you're supposed to be focusing on. Okay? Because y'all got so much potential. Let me tell y'all, y'all got the six of wands and the star. That's straight up. That's straight up and down, hands down, like celebrity status. That's straight up and hands down, being recognized, people knowing who you are. You're sharing your gift all around the world. Like, don't get distracted. Don't allow something that happened in the past and people still hanging and tugging on you from the past determine what's in your future, okay? So that's the message that I got for y'all. I hope this was helpful. Um, until next time, guys. Ciao for now.